week 16 here we have the giants coming to baltimore against the ravens and yeah it's we are in week 16 this is it's basically a playoff game it's basically a playoff game for for many reasons the ravens need to win to keep their playoff hopes alive you know uh, it, it's not that like if they lose they're completely out it, it comes down to week 17 also but you know we're gonna need some help from other teams you know like the dolphins need to lose pretty much and it's it, it is what it is the browns to lose even like like need uh, either of these teams either of these teams Dol dolphins browns colts i think i think i any of these teams could lose this week and if we win you know it, it i mean what we need to do here take care of our business take care of our business and this time around we're facing up against the giants who are injury riddled who don't even have their starting quarterback so you know we just you know just need to do our thing just like the jaguars the the giants are a better team way way better team than the jaguars of course but you know it's gonna be a tougher game i expect it to be a tougher game of course but you know i i, I really don't expect it to be you know like the browns game where it comes down to the wire i i, I don't think it's gonna end like that so we should really expect a game that goes our side the, the Ravens side so you know so here we are here you know we have I think our running run defense is is middle of the pack I think middle of the pack I'm pretty sure I mean last year last week I think we held James Robinson to like 30 yards. Our passing, you know, our passing defense, we we are so, still riddled with, you know, injuries. Our, our corner death is, is just very not good. We're missing a lot of players. We're missing a lot of corners, a lot of players in the secondary. Hopefully they come back for like, you know, week 17 at least or something like that. Like yesterday i got the news that they you know practiced they, they came back to practice including calais campbell max cura like all like all the other players like who weren't in the secondary so we're getting guys back hopefully i mean we might they're like all questionable also so you know on offense we have the best run running uh we literally have the best run def run off r rushing attack i'm going to say in the league our passing attack really isn't good well of course like who does lamar have to have to throw to like literally nobody but you know it's it's again these types of games where like our receivers who haven't been really good this season like marquis brown could really show up so it could really help him out there i mean he's been playing very well lately ever since he just man he's 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 had a rough stretch he still has drop issues let's all be honest he still has drop issues like man he really does like against the browns game bro it was almost it, it was close it was close bro he was gonna get cut after that game you know so you know so our our offense, you know, it's pretty, it's it's on fire since since the COVID outbreak. After Lamar came back from the COVID, it's been it's been nonstop on uh, on fire. The offense has been on fire, impossible to stop him. You know, so it's it very good news. You know, very good news. I feel like Greg Rowan has been really adjusting his play calling. You know, but he could. He could mess up some stuff. He could. He still could. You know, he's that type of guy where he he he's gonna he's, he's gonna have he happens to mess around. He happens to mess up, and it's it's just it's really annoying. Like, for example, 
still not letting Lamar roll out of the pocket. Just like the Rams, like how they play. Like Jared Goff just rolls out every play. And then just, he makes great plays, you know. Lamar's like, he's one of the fastest, fastest players in the NFL. So... It would be great if if we take advantage of that, but Greg Roman is is stubborn as hell. He's been using the same formations for the past eight years. If you look at the tape here, so it's it's frustrating, but for now it's working. They know what we're running. Teams know what we're running, but they just can't stop it. And the thing I, that that I've liked from Greg Roman is that these these last few games, he's he's let Lamar be more Lamar you know like I felt like these first few games they were trying to make him what what he really wasn't a pocket passer when Lamar he's not your typical quarterback man he has his own playing style you know so he, it's it's really it's really good it's really good and it's fun to watch you know you know like players like him only come around once in a while you know so it's just have fun watching him instead of hating on him, maybe. So yeah, uh, so our defense here we're facing against you know a terrible offensive line. We're facing up against a bad offensive line. So we sh like I mean we're I mean Don Martindale is really a, he's a he's a blitz machine. He's a blitz machine. So expect them to just uh, maybe throw blitz every single play. So yeah, um, it's pretty much all I have to say here about uh, about him. Well, the Giants only four teams had allowed more sacks than the Giants, and their offense really, really never here, never, never there. E even in the games they won. Like, if you look at the game against the Seahawks, who they, you know, it's probably one of the biggest upsets in the season. Their offense wasn't crazy. Like, I'm pretty sure they scored 17 points or something. So, yeah, it's it's nothing crazy. If we, I mean, we're sending pressure every play, every play, every play. So, it's going to be hard for them to not get sacked, like, four or five times this game. So... You know, I, I think we're going to win this game. Score predictions is going to be 38, 38 to 13 Ravens. We get the dub and prove to 10 and 5. The Giants, you know, unfortunately get eliminated from division contention and from the playoffs pretty much. With a loss and Washington win. So, yeah. We're gonna end it here. I, I think. I think even with a loss or Washington, I mean, if whatever, bro. Bolts and arrows. I think, like any team, any team in, in the NFC East still has a chance. Every team still has a chance at, you know, winning their that division, that terrible division. You know, so yeah, we're gonna end it here. Subscribe if you're new. Click the like button. Comment down below what you think. And yeah, guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wish you guys a, a Merry Christmas, boys. You know? And, you know, hope your day is great. Have a great day. And yeah. Also, Happy New Year. See you guys in the next one.